This is second grade, module seven, lesson eight homework. Solve word problems involving the total value of a group of bills. Let's look at number one. Mr. Chang has four $10 bills, three $5 bills, and six $1 bills. How much money does he have in all? Well, first of all, I need to figure out how much money he has by drawing. I have four $10 bills, which will give me a total of $10, $20, $30, $40. Three $5 bills, which will give me a total of $5, $10, $15. And six one dollar bills. Which will give me a total of six dollars. Now, if I drew a number bond, I know one part is forty dollars, another part is fifteen dollars, and another part is six dollars. But I need to figure out what my total is. So I'm going to add 40 plus 15 plus 6. Decompose my 15 into 10 and 5. And my 6 into 5 and 1. 40 plus 10 more is 50. Plus 5 is 55. Plus 5 more is 60. Plus 1 more is 61. Mr. Chang has $61 in all. Number two. At her yard sale, Danielle got one $20 bill and five $1 bills last week. This week, she got three $10 bills and three $5 bills. What is the total amount she got for both weeks? <clears throat> well, I need to figure out what Danielle got for from last week then from this week in order for me to find the total. So I'm going to draw. She had one $20 bill, five $1 bills, three $10 bills, and three $5 bills. So my number bond, I know I have one part of 20, one part of one, two, three, four, five dollars, one part of 10, 20, 30 dollars, and one part of five, 10, 15 dollars. But I don't know what my total is. So I'm going to add 20 plus five plus 30 plus 15. 20 and 30 will give me 50 plus 5 plus 15. 50 plus 10 more is 60 plus 5 is 65 plus 5 more will give me 70. Danielle has a total of $70. Number three, Patrick has two fewer $10 bills than Brenna. Patrick has $64. How much money does Brenna have? I'm going to use a tape diagram to solve this. I know that Patrick has $64. I don't know what Brenna has, but I do know that Patrick has two fewer $10 bills than Brenna. So that means Brenna has two more $10 bills than Patrick. 
So in order to find out how much Brenda has, I'm going to add $64 plus 10 more dollars plus 10 more dollars. 10 plus 10 is 20. 64 plus 20 leaves me with 84. Brenna has $84. Let's look at number four. On Saturday, Mary Jo received five $10 bills, four $5 bills, and 17 $1 bills and 17 one dollar bills. On Sunday she received four ten dollar bills, five five dollar bills, and fifteen one dollar bills. How much more money did Mary Jo receive on Saturday than on Sunday? Well first I need to figure out how much Mary Jo first I need to figure out how much Mary Jo received on Saturday. Then I need to figure out how much she received on Sunday before I can figure out how much more she received. So on Saturday, she received five $10 bills, which is five tens, four fives, and 17 ones. To find the total, I'm going to add Five tens will give me fifty plus four five will give four fives will give me twenty plus seventeen ones is seventeen. Decompose my seventeen. Fifty plus twenty more is seventy plus ten more is eighty plus seven more is eighty seven dollars on Saturday. On Sunday she received four tens five fives and fifteen ones. To find the total I'm going to add four tens will give me forty plus five fives will give me twenty five plus fifteen ones will give me fifteen. Decompose my twenty five into twenty and five, fifteen into ten and five, forty plus twenty is 60 plus 10 more is 70 plus 5 is 75 plus 5 more equals 80 dollars. Now I need to figure out how much more she received on Saturday than on Sunday. So to figure that out I'm going to subtract. I have 87 dollars on Saturday minus 80 dollars on Sunday will leave me with 7. So Mary Jo received seven dollars more on Saturday than on Sunday. Number five. Alexis has $95. She has two more $5 bills, five more $1 bills, and two more $10 bills than Cassie. How much money does Cassie have? I know Alexis has a total of $95. I know that she has two more fives. five more ones and two more tens than Cassie. So that is five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five more dollars because I have ten plus five more plus twenty which will give me thirty-five dollars. So I know that she has $35 more than Cassie. Cassie 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 has $35 more than Cassie
Cassie. So to figure out how much Cassie has, I'm going to subtract the total of $95 minus the 35 more dollars that Alexis has. 95 minus 10 gives me 85. Minus 10 more gives me 75. Minus 10 more gives me 65. Minus 5 gives me 60. Cassie has $60. Let's look at number 6. Kate had two $10 bills, six $5 bills, and 21 $1 bills before she spent $45 on a new outfit. How much money was not spent? Well, I need to figure out how much Kate has first. I know Kate has two $10 bills, so she has two tens, six fives, and 21 ones. To find the total, I'm going to add two tens gives me $20, plus six fives gives me $30, plus 21 ones. 20 plus 30 gives me 50, plus 20 more gives me 70, plus one more is $71. Now I know she has a total of $71. But she spent $45 on an outfit. So I need to figure out how much she has not spent. So 71 minus 45 71 minus 20 gives me 51 minus 20 more gives me 31 minus 5 more gives me 26. Kate has not spent $26.